Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and let's discuss Animal Kingdom Season 4 Episode 5. Okay, so we start off this episode where we left off where Smurf is like in the hospital and the doctor comes and she, he tells Hope that Smurf has cancer and that we need to discuss, you know, the way forward and her treatment options. So, fast forward to when Smurf and Pope is in the car. So, he wants to know what's going on. And she's like, everyone dies, baby. He's like, what do I tell my brothers? And she says, like, you don't tell them a goddamn thing. I was like, okay, Smurf. Like, can Pope really keep a secret? I don't know. Let's see. But he did keep... The secret that you know he killed cat and smurf made him kill cat so he kept that and he also kept the secret that smurf kills baz so okay he can't keep a secret so we get the flashback on smurf and colin and the gang of bandits and the leader basically don't like smurf because he see he sees what she's doing. He sees that she's manipulative and you know that she's manipulating Colin because he knows without Colin they're nothing. And I feel that you know eventually Colin and Smurf is gonna break off from the group and do their own thing. And I think that's got the leader scared. I don't I don't remember his name. And then we get this scene where Pope and Angela is getting it on and Smurf is like eavesdropping. I feel that, you know, she's going to mess up that relationship in the future just like she messed up his relationship with Kat. And she made him kill Kat because she was jealous. Anyways. So we fast forward to Jay confronting Mia about the bullshit that she did. He comes up with a pistol. I'm like, Jay, she's a gangbanger. You think a pistol is going to scare her? And he told her to stay away from him and things like that. And I don't like how arrogant that Jay is acting this season. Because he tells her, oh, you were nothing without me. And um, I gave you this. I gave you that house. And this is what you do. And this is what you did to me. And blah, blah, blah. And blue, blue, blue. I'm like, bitch. I'm like, bitch. If you are better than Mia, smarter than her, and could handle your own shit. You wouldn't have come to her for help in the first place. So who's, you know, a better person? Who's the smarter person? Who needed help? Because she didn't come looking for you. You came looking for her, asking her to have your back. So how can you say that you are better than her? Bitch, you ain't a beast better than her. You might just have a little bit more cash, but you ain't better than her. Neither smarter than her. Okay? So Darren confronts Jack. He basically tells Jack, stay away from Adrian because you're nothing but bad news. And he doesn't want Adrian to get caught up into that life because Jack is very impulsive. He doesn't use his head. So all of them will get caught. So fast forward to when Adrian comes home and Darren throws him a welcome home party for his win. And then he confronts Adrian and I said, oh, I know that you're working for Jack and, um, and that you're doing illegal stuff and you need to stop it. And Adrian gets a little defensive and says like, oh, I can't do my own thing. I can't, you know, run my own illegal business. 
and you're doing the same thing. How dare you talk about what I'm doing? And Darren basically tries to explain sense to Adrian. He's like, I'm not telling you what to do. Okay? But just don't do it with Jack because he's careless. And he will get you caught. But little did Darren know, little fish has been already caught. I feel Darren has to kill Adrian in the future. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I think he has to kill Adrian because he's already hooked. They're already coming asking about the Cody's and a new detective arrives. I think this is the detective from season three or season two who was investigating the Cody's. So he's back for this season and he wants to know the tea on Darren. That's what I told you guys last last review that you know they're not gonna just stop at Jack. They're not just gonna stop at Jack's bosses. If they could get the Cody's who they've been fishing for for the past couple of years, like hell yeah, we're gonna take it. And Adrian, you're a dead man walking. I see. I see. I call it. When he when when Darren pulls the trigger and kills Adrian, you're gonna say that I said it first. I said it first. <laughs> okay, let's discuss Jay and his classmate Olivia going at it in her her mom's apartment or penthouse or whatever it is. Okay, so her mom and her mom's friend walk in on them, and oh my gosh. This could not have been a black woman. See, if that was me and my mother walked in on that shit, girl, she would have pitched me through that window and my ass would be on the concrete smashed. Okay? Then Olivia's mom walked in and she acted like she was the child interrupting her mother during her sexy time and not the other way around. I was like, what the shit? I was like, let me know if your parents are cool like that. <laughs> Mine is not. Not, not, not. And then in the morning, she's like, Say, oh, you can have breakfast, baby. You can uh, have tea, you can have coffee, whatever you like. And she's like trying to hook him up with a job or with um, opportunities. I'm like, this is the same guy you can't fuck at your daughter. And you want to give him a job. And you want to give him continental breakfast. Like he's staying at a hotel. Am I hearing this correctly? <laughs> Girl, but <laughs> I think she's looking for confiscation dick. She's going to confiscate her daughter's dick. It's like, oh, you can't be fucking in my house and I ain't getting some. Okay. I need a piece. I think Jay will end up fucking that mother. I guarantee you it. So we fast forward to Frankie approaching Smurf. So this is how Smurfs find out that the boys went behind her back and did a job. Cause it looks like, you know, Frankie can't get through Craig, get through to Craig and um, she went behind Craig's back. I'm like, don't you think Craig is going to be upset with you, Frankie. What do you think was going to happen? You think Smurf was going to be, Oh, sure, baby. I'll get the boys to work with you. No problem. You think Smurf was going to say that, Frankie? You really thought that through? I loved what Smurf had to say in response. My boys should have told you since they wanted to work behind my back. That is better to ask for permission 
that forgiveness. And then she took that 10K like, you ain't living with this bitch. This is still mine. This is my God. <laughs> so then she calls a meeting with the boys like, okay, you bitches owe me money. And everybody's looking around it's like, who told her um, <laughs> that we did a job? And she said, you got 24 hours. I don't care how you do it, but you better have my money. But my thing is, right, if Smurf is dying, why she need money? She ain't need that where she's going, okay? So I don't understand that. Okay, so after their meeting, Craig gets defensive and tries to blame Pope. She's like, oh, um, you I was sleep talking, you little crazy fuck. You probably let um Smurf in on the plan or in on the job. And little did Craig know the woman that he trusted outed him. And then the scene where um they pull up next to the billionaire thief or the billionaire boss that scammed them, and they're all on motorcycles. I'm thinking like they could have kicked him off when they pulled up instead of all that 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 motorcycle chase. But I guess it's for TV. It would have been like you know lame if they just kicked him off at the jump. They just wanted to do stunts. Okay, but it was cool. It was cool. Okay. So this is my review for this episode. You tell me how you feel about this episode. And tell me how you feel about this season so far. And as always, make life fabulous even when it's not. And I will see you in the next video.